Hi, I'm Doug Canning, professional shooter for 30 years and host of my TV show, Doug Canning's Championship Season on Pursuit. Today I want to just talk to you a little bit about some competitive equipment that I use in competition, guns, gear, and the like. So we'll just start out, every shooter's got to have a shooting bag. You got to have a place for your stuff, keeping your ammo, your shooting glasses, you know, when you take your holster apart and your rig apart, whatever you're going to do in there. and even if you're going to keep your gun in there or if you're going to keep it in a hard case. Uh, moving on, this is my rig. It's a Safariland ELS system. The thing I like about that is with the ELS belt, I can maneuver and position my holster wherever I want it. I've got this uh, 1911 mag pouch with a, with a magnet in it. So whether it's for steel challenge or Bianchi NRA action shooting, if I go prone, the mags don't fly out on the ground. And then of course I just have my regular single mag pouches and again I can adjust them anywhere I want I can slide them on and off put uh, AR-15 you know mag pouches on shotgun loaders on this whole belt system is really awesome for three gun or anything like that because it's all interchangeable it's it's very very um, easy to use moving on to the guns I think okay so here we've got a polymer pistol. It's an M&P, 9mm, and you'll see that this type of gun shot in IDPA. You see it in USPSA production class, shooting for steel challenge in production class. So it's a striker fired pistol, iron sights, okay? Then you move on, and this is kind of the hybrid. It's kind of the new thing in USPSA. It's called carry optics. So what we're allowed to do, it's basically a production gun and we're allowed to put a red dot optic on it. So for those of us with aging eyes or people who just would like to shoot with a dot, make it a little bit you know, more straightforward, not have to focus on that front sight. We can just focus on the dot. And it's really cool and it's called carry optics and it fits right on these polymer pistols. Everything else is the same for production class, okay? And you move on to uh, a 1911. Okay, uh, 1911 iron sighted pistol. Again, you could shoot this in limited 10. You could shoot this uh, for a classic single stack. Great pistols. Um, you know, my pistol here, this is a DK38 Super. I like the straight triggers on all my 1911s. It's really how I love uh, to set my guns up. I'll take the ECI out right now. I've got a fiber optic sight. I've got a Doug Koenig hammer in it. And other than that, um, you know, we've got a magwell, but this is what you would consider metallic sight uh, type of pistol for NRA action shooting, but it's your standard 1911 with iron sights. We move on to my open gun. Now, I say open classes. I really wouldn't shoot this in USPSA open because it only it's a single stack gun, so it only holds 10, and you really need to be holding a whole lot more than that in open class for USPSA. Uh, but I, this is my steel challenge gun. I shoot at the Masters Action Event, Bianchi Shoot Off. And really the big difference between this and the standard 1911, you can see is the compensator, okay? And it's got the optic on top. How does a compensator work? Everybody asks. It's a little bit longer barrel, but the porting in the top of the comp, the gases from the powder, once they're burnt, you know, come shooting out the top of the comp and pushes the muzzle down so you have a lot less muzzle flip and a lot less recoil. It's very fast, you can be very fast target to target, you can be very fast on multiple shots and again we've got a loophole delta point optic reflex sight mounted on top, straight trigger, DK hammer uh, and a magwell. So you know this is really one of my favorite guns to shoot because there's really virtually no recoil and I get to have the red dot optic. I love it got your timer everybody needs a timer you know as you're progressing in the shooting sports you kind of want to know what your draw times are and your splits between shots and your reload times you got to have a timer to kind of know that and you know I use a pack timer been using them for 20 some 30 years now uh, everybody's got to have one in the range bag and one of the new products that I'm really seeing uh, pretty much mandatory in a lot of the shooting sports now is an empty chamber indicator, you know, chamber flag. So I don't care which brand you use, uh, this is a chamber view, but they fit so everybody knows when they see the firearm 
that it's unloaded, okay, and it's clear. I think everybody should have one, whether you're at the shooting range, you're at a match, anytime you're handling firearms, especially around other people, it's always great to have a chamber flag in the gun, okay, because everybody then knows it's unloaded and clear. So this is my gear, this is what I shoot throughout the season. Hope to see you guys at the range.